What's going on guys and welcome back to News to the Sonics where we discuss comics, movies, games and more. And tonight I want to talk to you guys about something a little interesting that caught my attention and that's regarding Kevin Feige talking about how they're going to be moving away from multi-film deals. This is totally breaking the conventions of movies in general and how multi-film deals actually work. So I think Marvel is going to be the first to try this out to see which actors out there truly love the camaraderie that comes with being a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But before I dive deep into this, I want you guys to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. I post videos on a daily, and I do live streams usually Tuesdays and Sundays from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. So go ahead and click on that so you don't miss anything. Again, post videos on the daily. You don't want to miss a thing. So this really caught my attention. I know it's a bit of a slow night for news and there's not really much going on at the moment. I kind of figured I'd take about maybe five to maybe almost 10 minutes of your time to talk about this and discuss because this is really an interesting topic and this is going to change the way we see movies and multi-film picture deals forever. So Kevin Feige says that Marvel is moving away from that and this is really interesting. In the early days of the MCU, Marvel made sure to lock its actors down with multi-picture deals. So these range from six film packs for Avengers mainstays like Chris Evans, though these were un ultimately like extended all the way up to nine film deals for supporting players like Samuel L. Jackson and Sebastian Stan. The strategy benefited the studio as it continued to find its footing. But now Kevin Feige thinks it's safe enough to move away from those practices altogether. So the Marvel Studios president outlined that his thinking during a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, and it sounds like he's more focused on hiring actors who want to join the MCU for the experience and the camaraderie rather than the paycheck. That got a lot of attention way back when with, I think, Scarlett with, and Chris Hemsworth and Evans and Sam Jackson said, Feige, it varies now. It varies project to project, cast to cast. Really, what we want are people that come in are excited to be in the universe, are excited at the opportunity to do more things as opposed to being locked into contractual obligations. So this approach sounds really unstable, but it seems to be working so far. Spider-Man actor Tom Holland has repeatedly gushed over his time in the MCU, and he has indicated a willingness to extend his own contract, which will be fulfilled after Spider-Man No Way Home hits theaters later this year. Plus, the studio was able to convince Hemsworth to return for Thor, Love and Thunder, making him the only member of the core Avengers trio to remain with the franchise. So how do you feel about Marvel's goal to transition away from multi-film picture deals? You let me know down in the comment section below. So again, very interesting. I think it's breaking the conventions of multi-film picture deals where it's not going to be a multi-film picture deal anymore. So any new actors they're going to be hiring from now on to be, I guess, playing as the title character of the said movie. So for example, I think it's going to be starting with Shang-Chi, The Eternals, whatever it may be. Um, this is really testing the waters and this is really basically testing any actors out there who really want to become a part of this universe, who really want to experience that universe and experience the camaraderie that comes with the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Because believe it or not, all these actors that are part of this universe are basically a huge family. They basically come in, they don't really know each other too well, and after their experience of working with Disney and Marvel Studios, they get nothing but positive experiences by working onto these films. Because these movies are huge. Something like this, like as far as like the concept of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is completely unprecedented. If you really think about it, each and every single Marvel Studios that follows, uh, after the first ones, I guess you can say, uh, it's basically spiritual sequels uh, side, you know, whatever's happening on another part of the world. So this is really, really cool. And this is going to really show the true colors of actors and how they feel about the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The only downside is if there's no multi-picture deals, actors can come and go as they please. Maybe they just don't want to be a part of something like this. But if they join like a Marvel Cinematic Universe film, obviously there's something good about it. Like besides the paycheck, which I'm sure the paycheck is phenomenal. And I think as a whole, in my opinion, I think actors get way overpaid to do a job like this. I'm just saying, it's just my opinion. But when you join this cinematic universe, uh, it, this is great for the actor to get well known, to get his face out there. So I guess more producers and directors can hire these actors for their projects, whether it be a big or small project. You know, being a part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe means you're a part of a big 
franchise. And that's what each and every single one of these pictures are in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hell, it's for the biggest company in the world, and that's Disney. And being a part of that, I'm sure, comes, you know, nothing but, I guess, riches and, like, literally riches. You also get plenty of exposure as an actor. I mean, superhero movies are in these days, and what better way to do it than the Marvel Cinematic Universe? So, again, this really caught my eye. It was an interesting article, and I wanted to talk to you guys about it. So you let me know your thoughts. I know it's a bit of a slow night. And aside from that, I want to thank you guys all for liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. We've seen a tremendous boost in subscribers and a lot of growth. And I want to thank you all, guys, and let you know that I'm truly grateful. So, guys, thanks again for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on bell notifications so you don't miss anything. Post videos on a daily, do live streams from time to time, usually Tuesdays and Sundays, 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Can't miss that. And with all that being said... Thank you once again, and I'll see you all in the next comic panel.